Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a tea towel for your mom for Mother's Day. I have this great tea towel blank. It came from heattransfersource.com. It's 100% cotton and feels incredible. We're going to load up Design Space here, and I found this image. Now, it is part of the Cricut Access subscription. If you don't have Cricut Access, you could easily design something on your own. And you can pretty much make this tea towel say whatever you want. Um, but we're going to go with this design here. You want to make sure that you mirror the images because, again, we're doing heat transfer. So we want to make sure that we mirror it before we cut. And then we're going to allow our Cricut Maker to cut this for us. I'm going to be using three different colors here. So I have this deep pink color that came from heattransfersource.com. I'm going to place it on my mat. Put it through my Cricut Maker and we're going to cut. Next up is this deep purple color and again we're just going to put this through our Cricut Maker and allow our machine to do all the work for us. After the deep purple though, I thought I wanted to switch things up a bit and I really wanted this tea towel to pop. So I have this fun holographic vinyl and again I got this from heattransfersource.com. I think it's really going to provide our project here with just a nice pop and a shimmer and shine. I do want to mention though that before I cut it, I switched up my settings and I switched it to glitter iron on. I find that the uh, holographic from heat transfer source is a little bit thicker so I just want to make sure that my machine cuts all the way through the holographic heat transfer vinyl Alright guys, and for weeding, I have this really fun tool from Heat Transfer Source. It's called the Tweety Light Tool, and you'll see it has this light at the end here that makes for super easy weeding. I can see all the lines perfectly, and it just makes weeding go a lot faster. All right, so before we press our design onto our tea towel, we wanna just make sure we preheat our material. So I'm just going over this with my heat press for about 15 seconds, just to heat up the material um, before we press our design on. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put down the first layer, which is home and mom. That's the holographic vinyl. We wanna place that layer down first. And again, I'm gonna press this at 330 degrees Fahrenheit, but for 30 seconds. This is a cool peel, so I'm just cooling it down with a piece of granite here. It's my little cooling block, and we're going to remove the transfer tape. And then after I remove the transfer tape, I'm gonna put down the second part of the design, which is the is and the little heart. So I'm gonna line that up. I wanna make sure that I put my piece of transfer tape from home and mom back over top so that I don't wreck the holographic uh, heat transfer. We're gonna press that again here, and then we're going to, again, cool it down with my cooling block, just before we peel off the transfer tape, just because I've reheated the um, holographic again. So we wanna make sure that we cool it down. And then we're going to press down the last part of the design, which is the wear and the um, little accents there in the deep purple. I'm gonna make sure that I re-put my transfer tape back over again, because again, I don't wanna wreck the designs that are already on the tea towel. Press this again for 30 seconds, and then we can remove our transfer tape, and our design is done. Now, I forgot to videotape this part, but you do wanna make sure that you repress again from the back side of the tea towel just to seal in your design. So 
So now you can see how easy it is to make your mom a perfect tea towel for Mother's Day. If you'd like more information about these products, check out heattransfersource.com and I'll see you on another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.